Okay, so option C, freshwater for IB geography. This is the syllabus point increase dam building for multi-purpose water schemes and a case study. So let's look at the cost. Okay, so first of all, definition. A multi-purpose dam may combine storing and supplying water for irrigation, industry, and human consumption with other uses such as flood control, power generation, navigation, runoff storage, and water discharge regulation. So the costs of dams are that there's high construction costs, visual pollution, displacement of people, it might decrease sediment downstream or increase it, either one, it can be like negative for the natural ecosystem, wildlife destruction, migration patterns, disturb, oh, also for the sediment one, it might destroy the deltas, um, which are very important for agriculture, it might reduce recreational areas, it, might, it requires maintenance, obviously, it can malfunction and can lead to disasters, benefits are that it provides a renewable energy source, it is a source of like flood control possibly but it might also make it worse water for irrigation is provided areas for recreational activities such as boating and fishing are created maybe on reservoirs and it might improve water security and it also provides a source of employment um and also as it is a renewable energy resource it might deter the like it might be a way of um, combating climate change okay now we'll look at a case study which is the three gorges dam as a contemporary dam building expansion in one major drainage basin so this is on the sichuan basin the dam is 2335 kilometers long it's on the young i don't know how to say it i honestly don't know how to say it it's on this river the main purpose was to manage the 1991 floods and provide hydropower so the costs of this were it caused political um it well there have been like reports of like corruption politically protests have been caused by it and it has also had a high cost for the government it has environmental impacts such as the impact on the river dolphin species toxic pollution from factories heavy winter snows on the tibetan plateau from june to august which may be like um deter or like limit the accessibility or like maybe they create like um unexpected conditions because of snow melt and winter snows like just like unfavorable conditions there's also an earthquake threat in this area um economically there's been a decline in tourism citrus land has fallen and 74,000 acres have been lost and also 70 percent of rice uh, crops have been impacted by this building of the dam socially there's 13 major there are 13 major units of the dam there has been relocation such as the fengdu tribe so it kind of displaces the local people um, and leaves them maybe like homeless or like in need of somewhere to live which can be quite difficult benefits of the dam is that environmentally it reduces air pollution it replaces thermal energy use it reduces siltation in lakes economically there's increased water levels leading to economic growth in shanghai and pudong it has 18,200 megawatts of capacity. It provides employment. It provides for 10% of China's electrical needs. And it provides to Beijing and the East areas, like it provides them with energy and that can like generate their economies as well. And then socially, it prevents floods such as in 1931, 1, no, 145,000 people died. And in 1954, 300,000 people died, which led to these floods have left, led to like cost of up to $18,900 damage wise. Navigation has increased now that 500 vessels can travel on the um, river. So that leads to more trade and like travel accessibility. There's water supply to the local towns and it's also become like it has um, aided the development of major ports of trade.